my god, that might be bigger than five, Chef. What the f What the f Oh, 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 did you see that? <laughs> That's how you start a video. <laughs> what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith with Chef Bad Bass. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Woo! We just absolutely crushed it out here on the lake you took us to this morning. It is a good old bank fishing mission, y'all. We tore them up on the chatterbaits, caught so many fish we don't even, I, I can't count. I can't lost count, man, lost, honestly. Uh, we caught a giant, too. Chef catches an absolute tank. You guys are in store for an awesome episode. It's just raw GoPro footage, ton of catches. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Let's get started. That thing looks juicy. Can't really do much about it. Starting off making the first few casts this morning with some top water, y'all. I'm uh, rocking that Yoziri. Look at that sucker right there. Sure to get the fish's attention. Chef's on his third fish. I haven't even caught one yet. There we go. All right, first one of the morning for me on the chatterbait. This one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. There we are. Not bad for my first one of the morning. Black and blue chatterbait with Banabedito bug trailer. Bondeer bug. Getting them. Nice little foggy morning out here. Chef Bad Bass showing us the new juice. Let's get him back in the water. See ya. Cruising. Oh, blow up right by my chatterbait. Chef's on as soon as he switches to a weightless Texas rig. Yeah, that flash. Okay. But he always has me wanting to throw these. He's uh he get, he has me buying the blueberry whenever I see the blueberry color because it's like hard to find that one. Mother, what are you doing? <laughs> Chef's getting all these fish. Oh, here we go, Chef. Oh, he had it. Ah, I got the double tap. Right yep, dude, I just spooked one on the bank. As you said that, there was a huge swirl where my chatterbait was going through. Chef's on his fourth fish, I believe. There we go. All right, there goes my second one in the morning, little guy. Well, at least you got hooked on like my last few bites. Get over there past the grass. There we go. Oh, that had been back to back. I just put a new battery in. Two casts in a row on the chatterbait. Okay, so that was almost two casts in a row, man. And yeah, I'm out here bank fishing with Chef Bad Bass. It's been a while since we fished together. He hit me up, told me about this spot. It was all about it. I said, let's wake up for an early sunrise session. I haven't done that in a while, <laughs> at least off the bank. And so we are here. Let's see if we can't land something over three, four pounds for you guys. There we go. Oh, got him. Man, he's a fighter. There's my biggest one. That's a healthy two and a half to three, and he choked the chatterbait. That's a good one, boys. There we go. Oh, he came off. I'm sure there, dude, we're missing something. We could be catching more. <laughs> but I just brought my, I brought my bank tackle box, and I got like one of each deal and like certain colors, so <laughs> I don't have my whole arsenal today. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I guess the chatterbait's doing okay. That was just a consistent little, oh, Ooh, oh, nice. oh, nice. nice quick release. Put him in the, uh, the new pond. In fact, he's like literally roaming free in here. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> All right, got a little one. This chatterbait is rocking the house today. Early confidence bait for me in fishing, guys, and I just talked about these recently. And I kind of talked about the, jackhammer compared to this one i've already had this one stop working a handful of times today because the skirt has actually slid down because it's like i don't know like some glue on here instead of hand tied and uh yeah so i mean i got away with the originals for the first couple oh, of years of fishing man, chef missed them. <laughs> yeah i talk about those jackhammers and they're pretty dang expensive y'all um i think they're worth it but at the same time i don't think you should just go buying them right off the bat when you first get started you hardly know the difference at that point you'll think that they're just both the same it's only after you've used both of them for quite some time that you realize the jackhammers really stand out with the double bait hook keeper and tied skirt the eye detail the blade color matched finish with like a crazy custom paint little things like that so i would just grab you some of these originals to catch some fish but eventually take a look at those jackhammers. I encourage you to get one of each, kind of fish them side by side. Hopefully you don't lose either one right off the bat and see which one you like better. All right, guys, here you go. If you've been wondering why the jackhammers cost so much, let's just give you a quick rundown. Uh, now, 
First things first, oftentimes the blades are color matched, so they've got like a custom paint on there and a flat finish. Uh, this one is almost like a, a, a watermelon color to match that skirt, which the skirt is hand tied on these ones. On this guy, it's almost like glued on there and it really likes to fall apart. You can really tell the difference right off the bat just in the skirt. Aside from the skirt, you can see the eye detail on the heads there. So you've got eyes on that jackhammer and nothing to provide further detail on the original. You've got a stronger clip there up front to tie onto and it gets that blade fluttering right away. This is probably the most important part. My biggest key feature on the uh, jackhammers versus the originals. You can see you have a double bait keeper on this guy here on that jackhammer. It really keeps your plastics on there, whereas this one on my left, the original, just has that big one solid piece sticking out of one side to keep your plastics on. Sometimes it just ends up messing up your plastics and they slide off of there real easy when you get hits. This guy right here really makes all the difference with the double bait keeper. And it's also got a little indention right there at the top just to snug that nose up to it. So the jackhammers overall are a much better chatter bait, but they do cost, what, four or five times as much. So I've just uh, gotten a few and collected them throughout my uh, journey fishing. Maybe. Yep. All right. Cranking them. I think that's number five for me. Now I'm catching up. I thought there was no way I was going to catch up to chef, but now I'm at five fish. <laughs> the black and blue is doing it all right. And guys, it's a crack and crawl trailer. I've got the full crack and crawl in here. I haven't cut down any portion of it yet. Uh, that's done them. I think that's actually caught all the... Oh, chef's on. Du first double up of the day. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so here we go. Doubled up, y'all. Boom. Oh, twinsies. And he's got a fluke on the back of his. <clears throat> that's the jackhammer or the... Yeah, uh, yeah, this is the that's, jackhammer. I was going to say, that's got some better eye detail. Skirt looks better. Yep. The hand whole nine. Tied, hand tied, as we were talking about that gold blade versus... And then, guys, if you want um, to black out your blade, just get a Sharpie. Yeah. And then um, just scribble it on there, and then uh, you're good to go. Also, um, if you are throwing the originals um, that do not have the keeper, you guys want to just put a dab of super glue on there. It'll help you keep your trailers on, and that way you're not burning through your plastics. That's a good key point right there. Always learn when you fish with Chef Bad Bass, y'all. Check them out down in the description. Let's get some more. Yep, yep. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I found one on the bank. Oh god dang, he just took some line. <laughs> that's a good one. That's another good one, y'all. All right. <laughs> bank flipping them pond tanks. <laughs> he, he, he's not a lake tank, he's a pond tank. <laughs> Let's go. Chef's on again. I would almost call this the second double up. Chef says it's good. Chef says it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's that's an easy yeah. three. That's an easy three, but he's going for more than three. Oh yeah, dude. Look at him. This bass has the sharpest teeth I've ever <laughs> had experienced touching in my entire life. <laughs> Guys, she asked. Thank you. Shoot. No way, Chef. Oh, that's a good one, Wes. He's smoking them. I'm not oh joking. my god! That's what is that bigger? Dude, is that bigger? Look at, this. Look at it! Look at it. Oh, oh! Bro, that might be a five. Oh yeah. That might be a five. Oh my god, that might be bigger than five, chef. What the f What the f oh, That's like a six, bro! Let's go! Scale time! Oh my god! It's a football! Okay, right. so the problem is it's in KG. Shoot! Oh my god! Okay, here, hold on. 2.84. 2.84. Hey Siri, how many pounds is 2.84 kilograms? The answer is 6.26 pounds. 6.26 pounds. 6.26 pounds. <laughs> Just cruising nice and slow, dude. What? Your second time ever fishing this place? Whoa, dude. Oh my God. All right, y'all. Chef is lending me this uh, silver bladed jackhammer. Check him out. All shad with a, uh, a white fluke on the back. I'm going to switch that out for the blue. See if I can't catch a big like he's on. This is epic. The popping colors with the good silhouettes have been getting smashed. So let's see what we got here with the silver blade. God dang. As soon as I say that. Chef gets on another. He's probably up to 10 fish by now or more. There we go. Low in the bank. 
Seems like they're moving up a little bit. There goes one on the jackhammer. Flute trailer showcasing something a little bit different. Alrighty then. See ya. There he is. Right up here. Right on the bank, dude. I don't even know why we're casting out more than 15 feet anymore. They're, they're literally right here. Ah, see you, buddy. Got him. Right by the bank. Right by the bank. Dude, they're just like in the same spot. Yeah, they are chilling on the grass. All right, bud. We'll see ya. Do, 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 do. Change of scenery. When you try to click it shut. Oh no. Oh, oh, right by the bank. Oh, well, uh. Oh, did you see that? Dude. <laughs> look, look, look. I ripped him out and then I was bringing it back and he flew back in the water. <laughs> well, there's a, there was a branch and I casted, or I tried to bring it right by it and sure enough, he swiped at it, but he didn't eat it. I got him in the nose. Sorry about that one, buddy. See ya. All right, let's see what she does. Got him. No need to go too far. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that was two in a row, bro. Like eight feet out. Double up, double up, chef. <laughs> you lost him. <laughs> Dude, I'm just like flipping the bank, you guys. I mean, I'm barely even getting this uh, chatterbait out here and they're right along the shoreline. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't even know how many fish I'm up to now. I mean, I bet you within the next couple casts, I'll get one just launching it. Right, yep, back to back. Uh, back to back, can we go three for three? Ah, uh, we missed the third one. Oh, shoot, Jackhammer almost slapped me in the face. Set the hook on that one. He looked big when he sideswiped. That was definitely bigger than my last three. Bass are everywhere, boys. <laughs> God. I, was, I was just... I just paused the GoPro for a second to save the clip and then I get this guy, like the hook set was completely while the GoPro was shut off. I think I'm filming now. Yeah, I'm filming now. <laughs> oh, biggin. Oh, biggin. Come here, baby. Yep, I'm just, I'm just barely casting out, dude. They're here. Oh man, this one's not, it's funny, but like, I don't know how old these fish are. I think they're just fed really well. There must be like a, an excellent source of bait fish in here because look, their mouths are so small for the size. Oh, yeah. They're just plump. Like that's got, a, that's, got a two, that's got a one and a half to two pound mouth, but the thing is probably two and a half to three pounds, like just hefty, chunky. They're nuts. And he swiped it with authority. That was a sick hit. All right, see you bud. This fluke shredded. I think I might have grabbed one that you were using though because it, it was already like kind of torn up on the nose and stuff. It was out of the bag. All right, we're having to rig up our third fluke. I owe Chef $2.98 after today. <laughs> That's the thing about the flukes, they're an affordable trailer. <laughs> That's one of the best and one of the, one of the most affordable. <laughs> Get over here. Walk the bank, barely cast out and you're gonna catch them. Oh, sh just missed one. Every time I miss one, I feel like it's the good ones too. Got him. There we go. Big mouth on this one, chef. Nice one, man. Heck yes. Getting more off this shoreline. It is just nuts. Let's get back in the game. There he is. I was about to say, man, and it's a small one. It's like a light switch just went off. They all turned off. This happens uh, frequently, guys, when you're out fishing. And I mean, we were on a solid bite for a half hour plus, and then boom, they just turned off. And uh, that's the first one I've had strike it in the last 15 minutes, maybe. I mean, it was back to back. If I went two minutes without a fish, I was like, what's going on? So 
that is the mood all right y'all hope y'all enjoyed that we are cruising on out of here man we had a solid few hours of fishing weren't getting nothing off the start and then boom they lit up and they turned off just as fast so we're headed out of here guys be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one <gasps>